and our word for today is measure. Measure is our word for today. Taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, don't demand it back. (laughs) Brothers and sisters, I don't think this is exactly the way we approach things. Was Jesus using hyperbole here? Maybe a bit, but he was also being serious. He was also saying, you know what? We are so accustomed to an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a life for a life, an insult for an insult. He said, don't let it be be so among you. And by the way, I'm going to show you how to do this. And he showed us how to do it. He who could have sent a myriad of angels to defeat everyone who was laying a hand upon him, he by his own power could have ended that that, uh, horrible treatment in just a second. And yet we're told he opened not his mouth. He didn't even open his mouth. In fact, he forgave those who were beating him even as they were beating him. He knew that that was what he had come into this world to do. What, to be insulted? To be put to death? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of it. Now, are we going are we called to defend ourselves of course are we called to a reasonable amount of self protection of course but he's saying when you can take the insult take the insult when you can love someone even though they are doing this to you love them in the midst of it when you can walk away from it walk away from it when you're called to defend others around you of course as a parent as a spouse of course we are called to protect ourselves in fact The church says that we are called to defend those under our charge, even to the point of our own deaths, and quite frankly, even to the point of a death of someone else, if that is what's necessary in order to protect those that we are responsible for. But what Jesus is saying here is when that opportunity presents itself, when someone is being unkind to you, and you can return that unkindness with kindness, do that thing. When you can walk away from the insult without insulting the other, do that thing. That is what expresses the love that we have for God. That's what allows our witness to be spoken in very loud terms, and it's very necessary that we do it. Stop judging, we see, uh, continued on the Gospel of Luke chapter 6, and you won't be judged. Stop condemning, and you won't be condemned. Forgive, and you'll be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will be in return measured back to you. Boy, if this doesn't awaken us, if this doesn't cause us to stir a little bit and begin to think, if I'm going to be measured out to the way that I have measured out, I've got some work to do. And yet Jesus could not have been more clear here. The way that you measure out is going to be the way that it is measured out to you. So be careful in the way that you treat one another. Be as generous as you can be, and in fact, be more generous than you can be in your response. Be so generous that you can only conduct yourself in that way by God's grace, because for us, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Let us measure out the way that God measures out, which is with absolute generosity toward others, holding someone in higher regard than we hold ourselves, that we might love them the way that the Lord loves them, and that in return, we might find that measurement coming back in our favor from the Lord. Measure our word for today.